so hello everyone in this video we'll be understanding how we can basically deploy our app so in this video i'll be giving the final touches actually i have deployed this code to another github repository that i have it's in my account so uh, you can find that in that why did i do that because i'll be using a hosting platform in which i'll be directly uh, using that github repository to deploy the app now what you have to do is before moving forwards make sure your uh, code is already pushed to the github repository uh, i'll not be guiding you how you can uh, push your code to the github be uh, because that's not a github course right just you have to do these uh, things like get add for adding all the changes that you have inside the uh, github uh, like git staging area and the other one is git commit in which you can commit your changes and after that you can also add your remote repository uh, by using git add remote origin and then uh, the name of the uh, or the url of the repository in which you want to push uh, your code i've already done that you can see this is my github repository in which i have pushed my code after that what you can do is you can simply write uh, git push to push all the changes inside that github repository so let me just do it one more time uh, in this to do list i have added one more dependency which was current task type so it was just giving me some uh, warnings in the console so i did that uh, it's not a big deal you can leave that as well but if you do that so that's okay you can do that as well let me just add it also uh, one more thing uh, we have to generate a build folder inside this client folder like because this client is basically our react application inside that uh, we'll be serving uh, our build folder by our uh, express server so our express will be serving our front end as well so I'll be creating a single uh, server which will serve our front end and the back end both. So for that I have to create a build file or a production build for the react.js. For that you can uh, simply run npm run build to create a production build. This npm run build will create a build folder. Oh, let me just see you what is the issue. npm run build uh, it's in the client so let me just go to the client and then run this run build so this run build will create a production build uh, or a single file that we can easily serve in the front uh, in from the backend by using express js so that i'll be using so as you can see uh, this is finished and it generated this build folder inside that we have all the things which is useful when we are uh, like serving our application to the production so this will be serving inside our server.js so we'll be uh, writing a simple line of code which will serve this build folder and then we can easily access our application with the server only so let me just write that so what you have to do is you have to write app.use and then there is a express method called express.static that you can use inside that what you have to do is for specifying the root or basically the uh, whatever you want to serve statically you have to specify the path of that so I'm using a path uh, package which is already installed or which already comes with Node.js or Express.js. So we can use this path and then there is a method called uh, path.join. By this you can join all the uh, root path for this because uh, we have to specify the complete uh, drive and the other things other path uh, 
for, for that but in the production you, as you know that there is no concept of drive so for fi figuring out the complete path we have to specify this path dot join and we can specify the directory name or dir name and after that we can specify uh, our client folder which is client slash build so inside the client folder we have to specify this build this directory name will find that directory for us the complete path so this will join uh, whether it be in the forward slash or in the backward slash in the production it will automatically find that so if I do this do this thing and you can see my server uh, restarted without any error and you can see my front end is not running let me just show you that so my front end is not running only my back end is running and if I go here as you can see if I refresh this page so it will give me an error because our front end is not running right but as you know that our back end is running on port 5000 and if I find that in the browser so it will give me my front end application you can see it is serving so actually we are serving our front end application with the help of this uh, static method so it is basically serving all the react app with the help of uh, this build folder so we, we are serving that now I can easily log in and do other stuffs and easily uh, let me just see one more thing also I think I have to change something in here localhost yeah, it's everything is correct yeah it's not the right one I think the username is not this one I think this will be the one let me just register with a new user never so I can specify this name not the admin it's after Ahmed and I can specify password as this one and if I register you can see it is registered now if I save this and log in you can see I'm logged in now I can easily add tasks so all this I'm doing with the help of my backend application I'm not running any frontend separately instead my backend is only running and it is serving my frontend so this was it and now I'll be uh, saving all the changes or adding all the changes in the staging area and then I'll be committing that added production build okay now I can simply push this application to origin master you can see it is successfully pushing my application now uh, in my github uh, repository uh, the updated code is there so in this video we did everything we uh, we are ready to push our application to an actual production server so let's do that in the next video thank you for watching